Traveling Introvert. Today I'm going to talk about leadership. I was talking with a client the other day and it was a, a group of managers who were in for some leadership training. And the first question is, what makes a leader a leader? And this led to like a 45 minute discussion and conversation between what makes a leader different from a manager or from an influencer. Some things that came up right now is that how being a manager is considered to be old school and very rigid and more about giving people tasks and how a leader is like the new cool kid on the block, but people really couldn't identify what made being a leader different. One person was like, well, you know, a leader is someone who gets followed. People follow you if you're a leader, which led to the conversation about, okay, so there's a bunch of people on Instagram with thousands of followers. Does that make that influencer a leader? And they were like, well, not necessarily. That's, that's an influencer. It's a little different. Okay. So what it makes a leader a leader? And they were like, okay, well, people have to trust you. All right. Don't people trust their managers? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. So there was starting to be a degree of separation between what makes a leader a leader and a manager a manager. Then we started to talk about inspiration. Leaders inspire people. That's something that they all agreed on, that they are inspired by leaders, but they themselves did not feel that they were inspiring, yet they consider themselves to be leaders. And yes, different people will inspire different types of people because not everyone inspires everybody. You will inspire someone who aspires to be like you, right? But it is a form of leadership. And then there was the question, can everyone be a leader? And they were like, huh. So then I flipped it and said, can everyone be a manager? And they're like, no, no, no. You know, good managers gives tasks in a clear way with like timeline, expected turnaround. They answer questions. They give examples of what done looks like. They explain why it's important. Like managers do a very, very specific thing. Okay. All right. So very clear definition of what a manager is. And very specific people can be managers, but not everyone can be a manager. Yet, so many people are in managerial roles who shouldn't be there, according to a lot of people. But leaders, anyone can be a leader because anyone can inspire someone else. And just because they don't know that they're inspiring somebody else doesn't mean that they are not a leader. Every one of us has someone that looks up to us. And it might not be everything that we do. It might be one thing that we did that that person's like, oh, wow, that was awesome. I'm inspired by that. We might not know it. Most of the time we don't know it because it's very rare. Someone comes up to you and goes, you inspire me. And to be honest, if they did, I'm not sure how our reactions would be, right? But everyone has the competency to be a leader, whether they see themselves as one or not, you are always a couple steps ahead in your journey, whatever that journey might be, than somebody else. Somebody will look at something you do and be like, oh, I want to do something like that. Someone will listen to something that you say and be like, oh, that really inspired me to go and do A, B or C. Thinking about the fact that anyone can be a leader should make you think differently about how you view other leaders and how you wish to inspire others or the people that inspire you. What do they do? What do they say? Who do they connect with? Who do they network with? And what makes them inspiring? Why do you aspire to have certain traits of another human? So remember that it's not being a manager that makes a good manager. The key trait that separates managers from leaders is to be inspiring. And you can do that by just being you. 
Thank you for listening. That is, this is Janice from thekoreanjuviet.com, helping you build your brand and get hired. Have a great rest of your week.